supporting the real economy. And in order that we can uh, be acting healthily, the integrity and to reach all parts of the society is very much important as the financial components. And uh, in order to meet the needs of the, uh, of the uh, community, it's very much important, of course, uh, very much important to, uh, we have a very important role as a, a contributional financial boards and our uh, distinguished participants are going to be handling this project, uh, these aspects. And uh, I'm going to be talking about where we are in We have to know that uh, we, as the contributory uh, banking system, uh, we are contributing at about 5.4% uh, last year. And it is uh, so in two years, we have actually increased in time. So it was actually uh, in 30 years, we have actually an average uh, reached up to a higher point compared to previous years. So the contributory banking financial systems in detail were very much effective and in 2016. On the other hand, with the lending certificates. And on the other hand, the capital institutions have been made some uh, innovations here in this area, and that has also made a contribution. And on the other hand, the foreign banking system are just thinking that the participative banks are going to multiply by two because they are going to be even more important and significant in the coming years. And of course, there is no uh, doubt about the future of the participatory banks. Uh, and of course, we need to reach to our citizens. And on the other hand, the, we need to, uh, the, uh, it is very much important that the citizens know about uh, the uh, literacy, literacy about the economics and finances. And of course, the most important thing here is that we abide by uh, these uh, the certain rules uh, that has to be tackled. And I would like to give the floor to, to Mrs. Sarvet, who is also working in the presidency and also the uh, is also in the academia. So what do you think about the spirit and uh, the effective uh, participation in these areas? Well, thank you very much, Mr. President, all of the participants. I would like to greet you all with my deepest resp respects. And particularly, I would like to greet all of uh, the audience. Of course, such sessions are very much important uh, for, uh, for the financial sector. And I would wish that this would be fruitful for each and every one of us. The English moderator, you have been asking an important question. As for the form and as for the spirit, when we take a look to the participative financial aspects, in the literature, in the jargon, the aim here is the aim and the spirit. Uh, it is called is that aim and the spirit. So the financial uh, transaction and all the agreements that are ma made throughout this process. When we talk about participative uh, finance, since the beginning of the uh, of uh, the foundation of Islam, and in literature, the spirit that is regarded here, uh, and the relation of the product that is that has been uh, cured is very much important. That is an important issue here because it has happens to be that participative financial uh, institution of course there are different types of portfolio management and also uh, insurance management they are existing since the 1700 17th uh, century it's been actually an alternative right now so that is the reason why the conventional finance does have some certain areas in which we do not have uh, that's what they were claiming that means that what are the things that they are different uh, than normal finances individuals and supply and demand the fund uh, accession and the transfer of funds has to be definitely real and commercial it has to be uh, bind to a commercial aspect it, it has to be a partnership of risk and benefit this is actually basic uh, uh, idea about it and it is also uh, reflecting to the institutional core
And from this point of view, how much steps have we taken forward? Participative finance right now in the world, the total actives, the funds that have been used, they're in average at about 8%. And it's actually an important number, but in countries such as Turkey, in which it has a, it has a very important and long past, having uh, the heritage of the Ottoman Empire does have definitely a greater potential compared to other countries. So, for instance, in Malaysia, we are saying that there are 35% also in the Gulf areas, uh, again, at 30, 35% uh, uh, is the uh, is the situation in those countries. And in Turkey, it's at about at 60%. And I believe that it can be definitely proper, if un, uh, properly explained, it will definitely be well understood by the citizens. What is the spirit of this in the, in the world and also in academia and also in institutional standards? Actually, there is an alliance, I can say, in the world, for instance, there uh, are, IUF, IFS, and the Union of uh, the Union of Participative Banks, and also uh, different types of uh, different types of uh, institutions have the opinions about it. For instance, also the Ministry of Religious Affairs does have also some certain types of uh, perspectives about it. It says that in Sukuk, in Muraba, in Tavarakuk, the fund is collected and fund is been used and it has been done accordingly to Nisa uh, uh, 29 of, of the Quran saying it has a general principle in ISA 29 we uh, and that character has to be real and based on commercial commerce but in practice in practice there are some certain flaws actually some certain hitches and uh, the society the citizens it can be a normal citizen or it can be any kind of a representative of the sector dealing with this or the representatives of the public sector are definitely taking this matter into the agenda and they are asking what is the difference here they are asking this question so what is the difference here for instance as an academician the ministry of uh, the ministry of uh, religious affairs or the institution that gives a fatwa or is making uh, cannot say that there is a difference because there are some gray areas here uh, and that causes and the society as for form and as for spirit the citizens may might ask is there any kind of a problem in this matter or it can be said that maybe it can be very unique unique to the situation and alternatively these they are making the function they are, they are realizing the function uh, but it, it isn't right not properly uh, Ex we cannot dis uh, explain this to the citizens right now. So what do we do on an institution and as for the academic literature, the, we need to explain what the form and the spirit is. Well, we have definitely explained it and put it into a framework, but uh, there is no problem about this, but we need to explain it. The most important thing here is to put up the uh, legislation of this, uh, the uh, participative uh, financial uh, aspects or uh, institutions etc have to be dwelt in in uh, there are different types of of course developments here in the participative areas there are definitely important developments here but uh, we need to clear up the legislative legislation we need to bring up the alternatives of it. The main 
uh, issue here is to definitely clear it in the legislation. For example, now we have, um, in general, in all the participative finances, we need an, definitely a new law and for uh, this area, which is actually a separate and autonomous type of a legislation for this area, which has been also declared by our president, there is a necessity here. And it has also been um, ex expressed and dis uh, accepted by the public authority. So I know that there is a study ongoing right now. Maybe I, we can hear about this by Mr. Tarek. And as for insurance, there are plenty of developments here and I do have uh, the necessity to actually explain this to you there is a Turkish model here that we developed this it is, seems like an alternative to the Malaysian model unfortunately what is the Malaysian model why because in the Malaysian model we have seen some certain hitches, some certain uh, things that are not properly uh, that are not properly uh, comment in certain points which uh, some certain areas that we need here in Turkey but indeed uh, there might be some certain uh, aspects that can create suspicion within the society and that is the reason why we call this as a turkish type of a model hence we need to overcome that type of an uh, opinion there are some certain things that shouldn't be done and uh, that has to be We need to take a look to the review the legislation. We need to once again re review the legislation. We need to come together with the Ministry of uh, Religious Affairs with IUFB and IUFSB. And we need to think about the theory that is brought up by these institutions. Without thinking of the today's agenda, we need to be thinking a more neutral uh, approach to this matter for and thinking about the future. If we can actually create that legislative as legislative background, and if we can explain it to the citizens and to the uh, society, and uh, if we can properly uh, start explaining these matters from in the in schools and in the academia. And if we can distribute this ideal all around uh, the uh, the youngsters, that would be great. And a young teacher, for instance, has sent me an has sent me an part of the uh, financial aspect that we are dealing with right now and it was i was very happy to see that this participative banking has right now been also involved in the curriculum as well not only in the vocational schools but if we can actually distribute it all around uh, the academia and also in the high schools, then I suppose that this participative banking and financial aspects will increase, uh, have a greater potential than it is right now at 50%. I hope that we can actually approach to a higher amount of distribution for, of this mentality. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much. You have given very great information about the legislation as state. We attach great importance to participation finance and one of the very concrete examples of this under the presidential financial office, a new finance participation finance board has been established as previously mentioned. Very intense work has been going on in this respect and Mr. Tarek Akın, Presidency of the Republic of Turkey, Finance Officer of Participation Finance Department. What can you say about these financial aspects? I'd like to salute you all with my respect. And if you allow me, I'll continue where Sarhat has left, especially uh, 
with respect to participation finance draft law, uh, where we are at this moment, because Sarvet uh, has asked a question with respect to that. After this office was established and after that economic reform package was submitted to us, and then um, in the areas that we have responsibilities, we immediately started our works and uh, the draft law of participation finance and also participation finance degree crediting and also participation finance center for Islamic world to be established. So we uh, started to work in order to support the theoretical and practical infrastructure of this issues. Currently, we are working on the participation strategy certificate document. Maybe uh, I can tell you that uh, we are coming to the very final position and very soon we will be submitting it to Mr. President. And uh, with, uh, before I talk about the certificate, let me briefly mention this process. When I also talk about the details of the participation finance strategy document, starting from the draft law with respect to finance participation, I'll try to touch upon the answers of these questions. So with this participation finance strategy document, after it was submitted to us, a roadmap was uh, prepared for us. And then first and foremost, we had a very long literature research. We checked the other countries, domestic, procedures, then we had certain consultancies with some national and international groups, and then we prepared a recommendation certificate for stakeholders. Afterwards, we tried to provide some recommendation threats and opportunities. Uh, so at the very end, we came up with a very comprehensive document, and this document was shared with eight institutions and more than 80 experts afterwards in different topics. We had eight different working groups and uh, for six months, we carried out working group meetings. In total, we had 45 members. And the minutes of these working groups works were turned into a document of 185 pages. And as a result of our works, we initiated strategy document writing processes. As we are talking about uh, participation finance, relatively it's a new concept because it has a broader perspective. It has a different meaning. When we say participation finance, it works based on the principles of the participation finance. Uh, all kinds of products, institutions, concepts are covered in this eco ecosystem. So here we can talk about bankings and also savings institutions, uh, capital market boards to participation, insurance, and also social finance could be involved in this broad concept. So uh, this participation finance strategy document, the certificate, was prepared to solve some realistic problem, uh, solve the problems in a realistic manner. And of course, Istanbul Finance Center is the project ahead of us. And one of the outputs of this project is to create International Islamic Finance Center. And for this purpose, we try to design this ecosystem and we work on this. And also another important thing, well, the world is a very important, um, is having a maybe, um, have, there is this milestone for this breakthrough periods for the world. Maybe in the upcoming days, we will have this new financial architecture. And with the participation finance, I think Turkey will have more to say. So in this respect, again, uh, this strategic document content will be prepared. So when we were working on the participation finance strategy document, we had this current structure, which was defined as a national and international framework. As I've stated before, and in the finance area, maybe it was like a big milestone for all the countries in the world. We are at the edge of a big 
uh, milestone for all countries. And there comes the financial independence of Turkey and participation finance is a great area for this issues again strategically speaking on the financial system there is this issue of decreasing the percent or the share of banks and also we want a strong and sustainable growth for turkey this is very much emphasized in development plans and also there is this international realities for instance united nations sustainable development goals so all these things must be taken into consideration to create a framework and So uh, this is the uh, holistic perspective. With the banking and also uh, capital boards and also its insurance side, especially after COVID-19, this has become much more important. Social finance can't be thought differently. And secondly, there is something called as ideal principles. There is this principles for participation finance, and also there are certain institutions, contents, products, they all should be in line with participation finance principles. And also there is something else towards better. We have to be supporting the economy. Maybe we need such principles. So we can't differentiate it like black and white net responsibilities or obligations but maybe in this way we need to um, direct the system towards that uh, level for instance risk share is something and also green finance this is a very hot debate in today's conditions maybe we can think of them as some supportive elements and also we have to be purpose driven yes uh, certain things are prepared for realizing targets that's why it's try to be prepared uh, lean and simple so this is not a strategic document and this is not just something about aims and purposes but it also involves the ecosystem and also what to do afterwards and what are some possible things this must be all available and the fourth pillar by the way this is very crucial this is freedom for Turkey, because we don't want to copy some other countries model and paste it and apply it in our country. We don't want to create something at the axis of that. So there are realities of Turkey, there are limitations and potentials of Turkey. So to the best extent that we do, of course, we have already analyzed good practices of other countries. But as I've stated before, and we try to provide the best structure for Turkey. And when we have a look at these basic principles and national and international realities, we are preparing participation finance strategy document. Strategy document has five pillars. Maybe in other words, it has five main purposes. One is to realize corporate transformation for participation finance. And secondly, in order for this ecosystem to function better, infrastructural supportive mechanisms will be established. And also, again, under the principle of being holistic, key governance will be provided and also human capital is going to be developed and the last but not least perception awareness and participation finance literacy will be improved i guess i don't have time but very briefly i'll try to provide you the details of these each and every purpose there are some some purposes for these targets and we try to provide some details for instance there should be a new participation finance law specific to participation finance. On the strategy document, we are not the legislators, of course, we are not going to write the law. Uh, this is the obligation of Turkish Grand National Assembly. We will only work for the draft legislation. That's it. And how can we do this? Especially we work with 
the uh, BRSA and with this uh, participation document, I can tell that this is something very crucial again for the innovative products and institutions. Again, this is a new target. And also there are some focal points, uh, for instance, uh, if we want to give support and incentive uh, to Istanbul Finance Center establishment, I'm sure there's going to be such mechanisms, but also on the project financing and green finance and also supporting certain parts of the society, maybe we can have some different incentive mechanisms. This is what I think. And again, there is something that we attach importance. The halal uh, chain value should be in line with that. And there is the trillion dollars. And for the infrastructure and supportive mechanisms, International arbitration mechanism and the financial technologies are going to be used much more and finance participation, participation finance institutions. By the way, I'm talking about all actors of the system. When I say those institutions, their access to liquidity uh, should be also supported with mechanisms. And under the title number three, maybe not the title, but the, but the uh, purpose under the holistic Fuki governance, we need to have a holistic legislation and there is a standards issue. And also uh, we have to have some surveillance mechanisms and also under the title of hu humane, humanitarian capital, we have to have this inventory work and then academic training for the purpose must be also available. And also there are certain actions for the vocational competency. And at the very end, there comes the awareness, perception and finance literacy. So no matter what you do on the supply side, you need to increase the demand uh, of uh, literacy of uh, finance participation. You have to just improve yourselves at the second part so that you can improve yourselves and we will be having more targets and aims. I think I've reached the end of my presentation's time. Thank you very much for listening to me. We also would like to thank you very much. Thank you so much. And we will see how the finance participation system going to be shaped in the future. You have shared your valuable um, information. And now, you have more than 30 years of experience, esteemed uh, Osman Akuze pa from Participation Bank. Participation Banks Association of Turkey, Secretary General, the floor is yours. Yes, distinguished chair, thank you very much. And I hope that this meeting will contribute to our capital markets. We, as uh, the participative financial institutions, are span sponsors of two panels of this meeting. And for five years, we are in collaboration with the union of the Turkish uh, participative Thanks. First, uh, distinguished professor, uh, and later we'll listen to Mr. Dr. Tarek Akun. I, in general, ex agree to what you say. Of course, uh, the union of spirit and form and uh, the, the for form and, and in addition to this, to be working together is definitely very much important. So we need to actually explain what we intend to do and everybody needs to understand it. For 37 years, I've been dealing with the parts of finance in 1985 in Turkey. I, uh, this financial journey has been initiated 
And in the basis, what was intended to do was finance and banking w without interests. And this has first been initiated with the banks for approximately 36, 37 years in Turkey, finance without uh, without any inter interest and interest-free banking has been actually our aim to establish in Turkey. So it was not easy to find a name for this. We first start, said the name, the fine private uh, special or financial uh, institutions. But remember, uh, we can all remember where we were in those years and where we are today. Of course, we have a hard time to explain what we were doing. For these are special financial institutions, perhaps we said, but in the end of the day, all purchases, sales, economic activities are, uh, are activated in this mechanism with non-interest principles. This is what we intended to do mechanism that is free of interests and there was also a demand around the world and at a period of time in the, our country i suppose uh, we uh, a new government has been established and the new government has responded to this demand and the local and also the foreign uh, investors initiated uh, this process. There were two circulars from the central bank and also the treasury. So we initiated these studies together with them. Of course, we do worked quite a lot in order to, uh, to precisely institute uh, the basics of this. And there was no actually model that we could uh, take as an example because we have the, on, the only thing that we could do is actually to create our own mechanisms and somehow I also found myself just in the middle of this business so we I, we started learning we started to develop the system we started to proceed in this manner in 1999. These institutions have been subjected to the economic uh, institutions of the law and they have been regarded as banks. First, they were been regarded under the principles of the banking uh, law, laws or codes. And uh, so you are actually, you have an activity of banks and you are creating a service of banks, of course, the accreditives, the letter of uh, guarantees, etc. So anything that you, the banks are doing can also be produced by these institutions. They have the authority, they have the necessary licenses for this. And the only thing they had different type of principles in order to collect funds and there was the uh, Islamic law principles that we needed to abide by. And there was also uh, supervisors and audits that have been made by the consultants in our own bodies. And we were doing uh, the necessary uh, activities as a financial institutions. The until 2005, we were subjected to the banking codes. This is how we went forward. And since 2005, there was an amendment in our banking law and the special uh, com uh, banks, the special institutions have been subjected to as the participative financial institutions next to uh, the commercial banks. The development banks were available and as a third type of the financial institutions there were we had the this new way of approaching to this bank law as the participative participative banks and the turkish banking system uh, has also accepted this system it was a complementary and a developing system within the ongoing mechanisms so we were also subjected to the 
to the authority of we also were subjected to the banking regulation supervision agency and on the other hand we were also found our principles in the articles uh, of the uh, regulations so we are defined in the in these regulations there are different types of principles that we are abiding by within the principles of non-interest banking so we are receiving the uh, we are receiving the savings from the uh, citizens from our clients and then we are returning it to back to the clients and creating that mechanism again for the good of the citizens without any uh, profit coming from the interests so within this process of course the system had to be developed and on 2013 we also made an, a workshop together with the Banking Regulation and Supervision Agency on December 2013, and the results have been published on 2014 as a report. And on 2015, in order to determine the future of the sector, we created the strategic report, and that has been done by a consultancy company. And with the participation, of course, by all the participants of uh, the relevant uh, people. So there were academicians, uh, experts uh, that have been involved in this workshop. And that within the framework of this report, we have created a strategic document. And our strategic document has also been shared with the economic uh, authorities. So, as a result of this, we are, have always been in the uh, in the aim and the objective to develop the prospective uh, banking systems. So, there has been approximately fifty actions that have been completed so far. So we have reviewed the strategic uh, document and we have made amendments and our studies are still ongoing. The strategic report project is, is also been uh, reviewed constantly and regularly and on the other hand we have the aim to implement and apply them uh, all these strategies and uh, i would like to say that our strategic we have six strategic objectives one is communication communication with whom with the citizens with the turkish citizens so in communication, any type of a tool can be used on a real basis, like publications, the, uh, expressing ourselves, activities, making activities, congresses. Uh, we are trying to express ourselves in many areas, in many fields, and we are observing, uh, and we are observing the citizens on how they re react. We are also making uh, studies about this. Communication is indeed the most important part of our strategic report, the ecosystem. If that ecosystem develops, the system can develop indeed. Of course, in the financial system, the main spine, uh, spine cord is, of course, banking. Banking consists of 85% of the whole financial uh, field. And today we have actually an 8% of a share within the banking system. And our aim here is to, in 2025, to reach up to 15%. And I do agree with the with our professor. We definitely, definitely 20% is a very low uh, objective, but of course, there's a necessity to develop the system. It's not yet unique. Our rules and regulations, the standards, our products are not yet unique. And that is the reason why there's still time to accomplish everything. We have problems with coordination and also we have problems with communication about legislation, regulations, and of course, and still we do not have actually a certain type of um, 
uh, we do still do not have and the necessary uh, coordination or formation or regulation of this field. The ecosystem is definitely very much important. What do we have here? This is for the participative insurance, the capital market indexes, and Mr. Levent is going to be talking about this. The capital uh, market indexes are going to be transacted by our stock exchange. And uh, I think there is right now an actually uh, a transformation in the uh, capital uh, market right now in this aspect. So, of course, we have to pay a lot of effort. And this is a very imp important area. And we're working too hard. It's not easy to establish a product, of course. And sometimes you can only um, create an, a, a product in four or five years. You need to talk with the relevant institution. You need to take a look to the uh, religious, uh, you need to take a look to the uh, religious a a aspects. We need to uh, take a look to the Islamic law, etc. And of course, the um, banking system is quite obvious in Turkey, and we know where the participative banking institutions are going to. I um, hope that uh, the is we can create institutions that can support uh, this field. And these have been cre established, and we are still ongoing with our projects to develop the products together with the capital markets and together with the uh, regulatory board. We are definitely in very close relation. And on the other hand, on 2018, it was a very important issue that we have completed. And there are some certain standards that we have completed. The PISIF standard has been done, and we have created the indexes for this. And as for the standards, we still have three, five years to go on further. It's not easy to do. And the, the Turk, if we, since we are creating the Turkish model standards, we need to, uh, we have a consultancy board for that. When we uh, when we put the strategic report into reality, then. Uh, I'm sure that it is going to be distributed to the whole sector. Of course, digitalism is very much important. Digital is a strategic target in that manner. And during the pandemic, again, uh, we have increased our uh, digital competency. So we are presenting uh, effective uh, digital works to our clients and we are following uh, all the digital issues and we're creating a report of digital uh, changes and that is going to be delivered to our customers as again. We, and maybe we are going to be talking about this digital report to our uh, to. Uh, to the public opinion as well. As for competency building, to, we are in close connection with the academia, training and good quality of uh, human resources is very much important indeed. And within this context, we are intending to use any and to, to mobilize any kind of a, of a effort or any kind of a possibility that we have at hand as a union. And we have also certification programs. And this week also we had a certification program and 50 of our friends have been have had uh, the examination of this. We had, there were plenty of uh, banks in it, not only our banks, but also all the institutions were uh, had the opportunity to attend to uh, the examination and also the banking regulation supervision agency uh, had the opportunity to enter this exam so we have there are plenty of uh, studies ongoing for creating products as i told you before and uh, our financial office of the presidency definitely is creating a roadmap for us and we are going to undertake it Hopefully, the uh, participative finance, finance is going to be a more effective, a more successful institution amongst the banks, banking and financial system. Thank you very much. And within the, you were talking about a product variety and as for this, the index a calculation measurement is very much impo important, of course. And now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Levant Begin. And he's going to be talking about the 
uh, Stock Exchange Istanbul as an index director. Değerli izleyiciler, öncelikle saygılarımı sunuyorum. Evet, 12 Kasım geçtiğimiz Cuma günü Borsa İstanbul tarafından. Thank you very much. Um, best participation index was calculated last week. Actually, as of 2019, the participation index has been calculated, but this was not owned by the stock exchange. And it, these were evaluated under the participation of uh, Istanbul exchange. All the rights about the indexes uh, was owned by the institution that demanded the calculation. In total, five participation index are being calculated by Istanbul Stock Exchange. And uh, after the index of Istanbul uh, Stock Exchange is uh, calculated, I guess other calculations are going to be stopped. So for us to calculate this index, we have already started our own works. So first of all, why index? Because in a very simple manner, indexes could be actually turned into financial products. And there could be certain products that are mimicking the indexes. And they could also be used some assets underlying assets and in other financial things, for instance, in the investment funds, they could be used thresholds. Um, and actually this is like, this benchmarking criterion is like the summary of the funds and uh, the indexes could be used to explain this benchmarking cr criterion and indexes, based on the theme that has been chosen, could also be submitted as a series of indexes to calculate the values of the institutions. So in line with the theme, uh, we firstly set a portfolio for institutions and each and every day the rate of this portfolio is calculated and based on the chosen period of time, we can see the changes. Indexes are affected by prices, but other than that, there could be cash entry um, compared to the acuity conditions. Indexes should be corrected from time to time. So thanks to that, benchmarking among indexes could be provided and they can submit the changes on the prices. So indexes could be applied to Liquid or some big companies like BIST 30, Istanbul Stock Exchange 30, for instance, or else sustainability, Istanbul Stock Exchange Sustainability Index, or else uh, some companies who are paying uh, the very regular dividends. And it could be uh, Istanbul Stock Exchange Index companies or else some companies that are in line with participation finance indexes because we have all started calculating participation finance. Istanbul Stock Exchange 100 represents Istanbul Stock Exchange, this 100. We all see it everywhere. It always uh, is around actually, like index uh, has happened like this or happened in that way. These indexes are used in the areas very frequently and also they show uh, some differences for the development of economies. And the most important use of areas is on the passive investment strategies or else on the other financial products, for instance, in the investment funds or else in the stock exchange investment funds or else some, some other transactions some other derivative uh, forward transactions, they could be used as um, 
assets. They could be used as the underlying assets. By the way, these investments are much more secure for investors because they are distributing all the risks and um, weight into a basket, actually. And based on the team and according to the team that they believe in, they carry out their investments. And another area that these indexes are used is as follows. Among these companies, institutions, in line with the indexes, they can choose whatever they once they can make uh, separate investments. Actually, these indexes are like a, a window, and uh, this is how we see it. We choose companies based on the index value, and then we provide them to the attention of the pro uh, investors. Without further ado, I'll just talk about the participation index as Istanbul Stock Exchange. We calculate the participation index and up to this synergy of participation banking financing. According to these index values, uh, investors can make investments uh, with just one single act on the companies that they want, uh, that are, of course, in line with this team, or else among the companies in the index, they can easily make their selections and they can also make investments on the shares that they want. And they are going to get more share from these indexes because portfolio based on the index or a fund based on this index will create demand for all the sector members. And when we uh, submit this index on the display window, we'll take more attention towards the principles of finance participation, it will raise awareness. So the ones who are sensitive about this topic, I believe will also take part in capital markets board. This is how I believe. And I'd like to talk about how these indexes are created. As you all appreciate, this is a very sensitive issue and we try to provide the maximum sensitivity and care and this process is not that easy this is what i'd like to mention and for this aspect i'd like to thank all our managers and employees and my colleagues and everyone on the participation in finance banking consultancy group on their uh, on, on our behalf on behalf of capital markets board i'd like to thank them I'd like in other similar examples in the world index calculator in this example we are talking about islamo stock exchange there is a consultancy board, an advisory board. So you, you have to work with an advisory board. So under the uh, umbrella of participation banks board, we started to work with these uh, departments. So again, within this framework, starting from Osman Bey, uh, our advisory board members and also our team members that we work together. I'd like to thank uh, them one by one because they have supported us very much. In order to calculate the index, first and foremost, participation finance principles should be used to allocate companies working in that line. After that, needs on the market must be taken into consideration to uh, improve and develop different indexes. For the principles of the finance partic participation finance, there is this, there is this, Share certificate Ex exportation was taken into consideration and needs were determined and also financial tables of the companies were evaluated. But then it was seen that companies uh, who are in line with principles of finance participation, majority of them are not accessible on the open source areas. So for that reason, we ask these questions and information to the companies and we had a platform and based on the platform's work we received the information from companies and even some companies were having difficulties in, in extracting that information but in the upcoming periods by developing the i believe systems they will be much more capable of providing those information to us so answers to the questions we asked on the cup platform which is the 
public clarification forum before they are published on the forum they are they were registered in our platform and they were reported by Istanbul Stock Exchange. So this information is going to be open to public. I believe if it is made as soon as possible, it will be very much good for the process. And when these forums were filled in, great information was received and many questions were also sent by the companies and then we transferred these questions to the advisory board and the answers and the questions they were compiled together and then a guideline under the name of participation finance index questions it was made public indexes should be rule-based and transparent and when there comes new developments with respect to questions and answers, this document will be updated and it will be accessible on the website of Istanbul Stock Exchange. So these answers and the questions will be much more standardized. And if they are going to be also used for creating a guideline for the principles, it will be, of course, a great use. What did we do? What kind of roadmap we followed when we created these uh, periodical indexes? Answers of the companies were taken into consideration based on their financial periods, financial tables. As I've said before, and they were asked to fill in the questionnaire and then we received answers. So the uh, maybe the most comprehensive set of Istanbul Stock Exchange Finance Participation Index was created and some markets were excluded. Uh, this is something that we do. This is a parallel application that we do. And also privilege information of the companies was taken into consideration based on the standards. The <coughs> We redeem shares, dividend rights certificates were also evaluated and there should not be any privileges and redeemed shares that are against the interest of other participants. And then uh, based on this, we excluded certain other companies and also there are certain payments sent from the cash of the companies to the foundations and employees and they were not also evaluated as the profit share privilege for instance tobacco and also porcine product production and gambling and also entertainment hotels and entertainment against Islam and biological genetic activities that aim at changing the human nature. If they have this kind of items, articles on their contracts, then these companies were also excluded. And then three important financial criteria were applied. One of them was as following, uh, was, was the previous, so the 5% of their products and also 33% of their interest income. And again, we checked whether their loan on interest exceeds 33%. If it exceeds, then those companies are excluded with the same thing. Again, when we look at the banks or some intermediary groups and insurance companies and also retirement companies who are not in line with the participation bank, uh, participation finance principles, uh, they were also excluded. Uh, they were out of the direct index calculation concept, but when it comes to venture capital and some other corporations, joint ventures, joint partnerships, they were included and they were evaluated for other items that I've already mentioned before. And okay, I got you. I, I'll conclude very soon. And also film, organization, movie, entertainment, every kind of items like this were excluded uh, for them to be involved in the index they should be in line with standard article number 1.1 if they have this kind of statements on their charters by the advisor group these could be evaluated and if it is taken into consideration they could also be on the website 
and other than the tourism, entertainment, accommodation, film, movies, uh, companies, they are again excluded from the scope, but uh, there could be some of the examples which were authorized by the Halal Accreditation Council. If they have this uh, certificate, they could be involved in the index uh, on the condition that they do not ex exceed 5% when it comes to affiliates. Companies who are not in line with the finance participation principles were again excluded when it comes to their uh, side activities, if it's again like this, they should be within this 5% threshold. I have more things to say, but maybe I'll skip. We have checked the company's market shares and also based on that we created Istanbul Stock Exchange 100, 165 and also important feature for index sustainability and also participation finance. The ones who would like to make investment on this kind of uh, companies, they were included in the calculation of index. There is this 10% of threshold in the beginning of the period. If it exceeds 15%, it must be taken down to 10%. Last but not least, October 1st, 2022, based on their closing values as of, two times, as of 12th of November, uh, certain more information will be also available. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry I've exceeded my time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Levant Bey. You mentioned the important sides of the newly calculated indexes we don't have too many questions that's why i'd like to thank all our panelists for the information that they've given us for the ecosystem and the future of the finance thank you very much i wish a very grateful result will be received